Listen to the sounds in the city. The sound of traffic. And the sounds of children playing. But where is that music coming from? And why are all the children running? Of course, it's the organ grinder and Mikko the monkey. Almost every day, all summer long, Mikko and Mr. Russo come to the park. Mr. Russo cranks his organ and Mikko collects pennies from the children and puts them in his pocket. He's supposed to tip his hat, but sometimes, sometimes he forgets. And Mr. Russo tugs gently to remind him. What fun to watch the monkey. It's fun for Mikko and for Mr. Russo, too. But it's also work. For you see, Mikko helps Mr. Russo earn money this way. Mikko does tricks, too. Mikko knows many tricks that Mr. Russo taught him. If you show Mikko where to look, he'll hunt in your pocket for pennies. If you hold a penny in your hand and close your fist, Mikko will sneak his paw right inside your fingers. So, every day, all summer long, the children come to the park to see Mr. Russo and Mikko. One morning, Mr. Russo got Mikko ready to go out to the park, just as he always did. But this time, Mr. Russo began to think how many years he had been going to the park every day. How old he was growing. How heavy the organ seemed. Mr. Russo thought he would sit down and rest for a few minutes just for a few minutes before he started off to work. Mikko didn't understand that at all. He wanted to go to the park to see his friends, the children. But then, Mr. Russo began to nod sleepily. And Mikko slipped the leash right out of his hand. Mikko stood up in a chair and chattered. But Mr. Russo still wouldn't get up and go to the park. Mikko didn't understand at all. He was ready to go. They couldn't disappoint the children. Well then, Mikko would go to the park by himself. So out through the window he went. And down, down, down the stairs. It was a long way down. Once he was down, Mikko felt a little lost without Mr. Russo. But then he thought once more about the children in the park. So he scampered across the yard. 
past the barber shop he went. And right up to the grocery store. Uh oh, he decided not to go past the grocery store in such a hurry. Of course, he didn't know it was wrong to take anything. He just helped himself to a fat banana. Miko was puzzled. For a moment, he didn't know what to do. Then he jumped down off the stand. Right past the grocery store, he scampered. Past the clothing store. Past the florist shop. And right up to the corner. But which way to the park? What a lot of noise there was. There, on the other side of the street. There's the park. But how could Miko get across to see his friends, the children? The traffic light was red. But it was all a puzzle to Mikko and to a waiting cab driver. But when the light turned green, the traffic changed, and Mikko saw his chance. Safe at last on a bench in the park. And now, where were his friends, the children? The children were playing while they waited. Look, there's Mikko. The boys and girls knew they mustn't frighten Mikko. They were gentle and, and quiet. And they coaxed him until he would come to them. Poor Mikko, he wanted Mr. Russo too. So one of the boys picked up the leash and they all started off to take Mikko home. carefully across the street and past the stores. Past the florist shop. Past the clothing store. Past the grocery store. Don't worry, Mr. Grocer, Mikko's master will pay for the banana. Past the barber shop they went. and right into the backyard of Mr. Russo's house. Mikko knew where he was then. Up, up, up the stairs he went. And right through the window, back into Mr. Russo's house. Believe it or not, Mr. Russo was still asleep. But then, Mr. Russo heard the voices of the children, the children who brought the monkey home. My, but Mr. Russo was surprised to see so many boys and girls right in his own backyard. So, right away, Mr. Russo went to get his organ. And Mikko swung out through the window again to entertain his friends. While Mr. Russo played the organ, Mikko collected pennies from his friends. This was as good as going to the park. And best of all, Mr. Russo was happy to know that when he couldn't go to the park, the children would come to see him in his own backyard. 